guys, this is part one of our annual road trip. Today we're driving from London to Paris. It's almost like a family tradition for us to travel to France every year around my dog's birthday. But this year we decided to detour a little. So we'll be going to Paris, Lake Como. From Lake Como we'll be going to Cannes, then back to Paris and back to London. Our first stop, of course, is the pet reception at the Eurotunnel. If you're from the UK and you want to travel with your pet internationally, there are certain rules you must follow. After you check in, you're gonna get this cute little sticker to put on your windshield. And from there, you have to head to the pet reception area. It may be a little bit busy, especially around summertime, since people like to travel with their pets quite a lot. But the whole process is really straightforward and really quick. As long as you have the right documents, you should be fine. They're gonna scan your pet's microchip, they're gonna check the documents, and then you're good to go. You can even get your last minute shopping done, grab a snack. There's even a dedicated area for pet owners and a little playground for the pups. So if you arrive a little early, you're not going to get bored and your dog, most importantly, is not going to be bored either. To be able to travel to EU, your pet needs a microchip, a valid rabies vaccine, animal health certificate or a valid passport. Once your pet is checked in for the trip, now it's time for your passport control. First you're going to pass through the UK customs and then the French customs. And from there, if you bought a FlexiPlus ticket, you're gonna have access to a FlexiPlus lounge, which is pet friendly for all well behaved dogs. Lexi loves coming here because she can smell the food and she always gets something, which is why it was so cute to see this little stand with dog treats. And I tried to give her one, but she doesn't really like eating outside. I don't know where this came from, but she would not only refuse food when we're outside, sometimes she would even refuse water. It can be quite frustrating, but at the same time, I'm happy that she doesn't pick up anything from the ground, no garbage, no food leftovers. She's just not gonna eat it. It took me quite some time to convince her that this is actually a real cookie, not a hidden poison. Of course, there are some snacks for humans as well. I think we're ready to catch our train. The crossing takes only 35 minutes, so you can take a nap if you want. I like to start preparing for the arrival, taking out the electronic toll payment badge and making sure we have the emissions certificate ready. And before you know it, in only 35 minutes, you have arrived in France. After a three hours drive from Calais to Paris, we've arrived. Our home is being renovated, so we had to stay in a small hotel nearby. Fed the pup, took a very quick shower, and we were ready for dinner. We managed to pick up something from home to put on Lexi's stroller. She thought it was a toy, of course. The very next morning, we headed out shopping. I had a bunch of appointments and a few things to buy before we had to like Como, so we had to be really quick. My first stop was Celine. Initially, I came just for the basket, but I ended up living with a little bit more than that. I have the best sales associate there. She brought out all the baskets they had in stock because they're all artisan made, so they're all different. And I purposely chose the only one with a manufacturer defect. Later, I'll show you why. From there, I went straight to Hermes to pick up my sandals. I 
I also took Lexi to the pet section, but I quickly reminded myself of how much stuff she owns and I decided I need to leave quickly before I end up buying another bed that's never going to be used. I went to say hi to my dream bag and immediately left that place. We went for a quick brunch. I'm not even joking when I say I've been eating here for the last 10 years. The omelets are so good, you have to try if you're ever in Paris. And of course I have to share it with somebody. After brunch, I only had one item left to pick up before my big vacation. My last shopping stop for that day was VCA. I came here to pick up a missing piece from my collection. After months of searching, we finally managed to find the malachite stone dark enough to match my necklace and my bracelet. I'm very particular about my jewelry matching, especially when it comes to stones like malachite. I also contemplated about my next purchase. Here you can see a size comparison of two pearly bracelets. Which one do you like more? We decided to spend the rest of the day helping our friend who opened the restaurant not long ago. But just across the street from his restaurant, I found a cute little vintage gaming shop. I knew I had to enter even if it's for one minute. I'm actually a big gamer at heart. My father was a gamer, so as you can imagine, I grew up with a PlayStation controller in my hands. It was like a wave of nostalgia when I entered this place. So many games, so many toys, so many figurines, collectibles. It's like my entire childhood locked in one room. Years ago, I promised myself that one day I'm gonna have a gaming room and it will be full of consoles, full of collectibles. I even have a rough sketch of what I want it to look like. But it's going to be quite a long process, especially replacing all the things that I have collected over the years but have magically vanished in my parents' house, like Pokemon cards, for example. One day though, one day. But anyway, it's time to go to work. Welcome to Austria, located in the heart of Paris, around the corner from the famous Notre Dame. Austria is a family owned restaurant and oyster producer. After taking some professional pictures and helping our friend Joao behind the bar, we have a lovely dinner with our whole family. And while personally I don't really eat oysters, everyone else at the table said the quality was amazing. So if you're ever in Paris and looking for a good oyster restaurant, please stop by. See you in part two!